and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can earn money by using Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you how to create a simple printable asset that you can then save as a PDF and upload online. So before I show you how to create one, if I just show you, this is Etsy. I'm sure many of you have heard of Etsy, but there are other online stores and shops available such as Shopify. If we just scroll down, you can just see the types of digital products that you can offer to sell and create. So we've got everything from daily planners, weekly planners, menu planners. You can also do coloring books and all sorts. So let me show you how to create one of these. So I've got a simple A4 piece of paper here, which is my default setting. I'm going to go to layout, go to margins and go to narrow. So I've got as much space on the page as possible. I'm going to just press my return key once and go to insert table and then I'm just going to select five columns and eight rows. Then I'm going to go up to the top left here and I'm going to select the whole table. Then in the height bar here, I'm just going to select one centimeter, press enter. Then I'm going to go to this icon here, which is aligned to center. So all my text will be centered. So before I create this, I'm just gonna show you what I'm trying to create. And I'm going to be creating this form here. So if we go back to our page, in order to create the gaps between each column, I'm going to change the width of this column. So select it, go to width, make sure you're on the layout tab. And I'm gonna press one centimeter and press enter. I'm gonna do the same with this one. One centimeter and press enter. Then for this column, I'm going to select 5.5 centimeters and press enter. Do the same with this column. And then finally with the end column. So at the top here, I've got room for my text. And then here I want room for some notes. So I'm just going to hit my return key a few times. So I'm going to have a gap here, then my text, then my second line, and then a gap, the text, and another line here. And you can see they're not quite equal so that I can just use my return key just to make sure they're the same size. If you're not sure, go to the home tab, go to this icon here, and then you can just count down how many return keys you've used for each one. I'm just gonna nudge this table so my cursor is at the top here. And I'm just going to press it a few times just to nudge it down and then take that icon back off. Okay, so now we need to get rid of some of these inside borders. So the first thing to do is get rid of these lines here. So select that column, go to table design and go over to borders. And if you click on the drop down, you can see all the border lines that we've currently got selected. So for this column, I want to get rid of the bottom border, which is right at the bottom here. I want to get rid of the top border which is right at the top here. And I also want to get rid of all the inside horizontal borders. And now you can see they've all gone. I want to do exactly the same with this column. This has already been selected, so you can just click on that and that will get rid of all those inside borders. Then at the bottom, then at the top. Once we've done that, I want to get rid of the borders along here. So once again, we want to get rid of the left border, the right border, and also the inside vertical borders and do exactly the same with this row here. Perfect. So now we've got our boxes all selected. We can go ahead and put in our text. So once we've done that, we can put a title in at the top. I find that if we use a text box, we've got far more customization. So go and draw text box. Enter in weekly planner. and then select it all, go to the home tab, select a font of your choice. I use this increase font size tool here to increase my font. Then go to this icon here, which is your center text. Then on this text box, we've got a black borderline, which I'm gonna take off, so select it. Go to shape format and select no outline on this icon here. And then finally go to align, align to center make sure it's all centered. If you can't find the align tool, you're not on the shape format tab, 
this won't appear unless you've got your box selected. Now, once you're happy with your printable form, you can go up to File, you can go to Save As, then you can go down to the File Format and select PDF, and then click Export. You can say Best for Electronic Distribution or Best for Printing. So this is just generally for electronic distribution and click export. Then to open up your PDF, just click on it in the location you've saved it in. And as you can see, our form has been saved as a PDF file. Now, because it's in a PDF file, you can use it to upload to any online store or website. And as you can see, you can sell these in bundles or as single planners, and you can set your own prices. If you don't want to create this form yourself, then I do have a link below where you can download this form. And I'll also put a series of videos which will show you how to create other printable forms that you can use. If you're struggling for ideas, you can always go to Etsy to find out some ideas for what sort of thing you want to produce. But if you go to ChatGPT, you can also use this to identify what sort of listings or elements you need to include. So for example, if I were to put in cleaning checklist, press enter, you can see that JackGPT is generating lots of different options that you can simply copy and paste into your checklist or whatever other form you are attempting to create so that it takes the legroom out of trying to come up with these ideas yourself. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.